Hi guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC mom who loves science, and today we're going to talk about CC Cycle 3, Week 23, Hands-On Science Experiment, which is on pages 270 and 271 in your Foundations Guide, and it's called What Are the Odds? And we're continuing our discussion of probability, which is the mathematical study of chance which is basically how likely something is to happen or to not happen. And so we're talking about odds today. And you can say, okay, have you ever heard of, okay, the odds were stacked against them. Or sometimes in storytelling or in a movie or in a book, it, it, they may hear things like, oh, there was the underdog who um, the odds were against them to win, but they overcame and won and um and the odds were in their favor. And so what does that mean? And how can we calculate that? And I recommend grabbing Nicoleum's science script from the Sandbox e-magazine for week 23 off CC Connected. She walks you through it really well as well. Um, but we're going to talk about odds. And you'll need some coins for this one and some dice. So you're going to need two groups. So you can either take your whole class and divide them into two groups, or you can put your students in pairs. Um, but we're going to talk about the odds. So we're going to go back to our discussion of the coin and how many sides does the coin have. It has one, two sides, and they're different. And we learned what the probability was of getting heads or tails. Um, I'll write that down here. So our probability, we have two possible outcomes. And if we want heads, that's one of the choices. If we want tails, that's one of the choices. So our probability is one out of two. And so put your students in pairs or in two groups and say, okay, group A, your heads, group B is tails. And you guys are going to Flip the coin 12 times and keep track. Make a tally chart. You can give them a piece of paper. You could do it on the whiteboard. And flip the coin 12 times and see what your results are. If they're pretty even, if, if they're not. So you should find that they're pretty even. So I'm going to flip the coin 12 times. I've got uh, just a whiteboard. I'm going to do some tallies and we'll see what we get. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Nine, uh, ten, and we're going to do eleven. Well, all right. So when I did it, I did not get very even results. But this could be a good opportunity to try multiple pairs and then take kind of all the tallies together. Uh, but I got a lot more tails. Than heads this time. So talk about, okay, was this fair? Were, were these results fair? The results don't look very fair, uh, but they had an even chance of, of getting either heads or tails. And so if you have them in pairs and you take a class uh, total for heads and tails, they should turn out to be fairly even. But if they don't, it's a good opportunity to talk about, okay, what do you think this means, why would we get tails more than heads? Maybe I didn't flip it very consistently or something like that. Um, but to calculate the odds, it's a little different than probability. We use a colon instead of um, a line for a fraction. And that is basically how many, if you, 
how many opportunities are there for you to win versus how many opportunities are there for you to lose. And so with a coin, if we want heads, there's one opportunity for us to win if I flip it one time. And how many opportunities are there for me to lose? One on a coin. So the odds are one out of one. One to one is what we would say. And so these are pretty even odds and we would say that's pretty fair. So remember probability is one out of two where we look at the total possible outcomes. But odds, when you calculate that, is how many wins versus how many losses are possible when I flip a coin. Now, it'll make a little more sense when we look at the dice. So I'm going to try it with a coin first, see what your results are. And then we're going to have the same groups roll a dice. And you're going to assign them and say, okay, group A, you're going to win if you get, you're going to win a tally mark if we roll a one or a two. Group B, you're going to win if we roll a three, four, five, and six. Uh, see what happens then. We're going to roll the same 12 times and we'll see what we get. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So Interestingly enough, this looks a little more even than the coin toss did. So, but we still, there was a few more opportunities for this team to win than this one. And there are some examples in your guide. And so for uh, class total, so if you have them in pairs, take a class total. It'll look a little more uneven. So they have class totals at 17 for 1 and 2 and 31 um, tally marks for 3, 4, 5, and 6. So it'll be a little more uneven. And so I said, is that fair? Is it fair? Is this a fair uh, way to do it? Or what would be more fair? Um, if we have, a, you know, if we move the 3 over here. Um, so the odds are not as good for group A and group B. We're going to, I'll show you what that is. So for the odds, to calculate the odds, remember it's wins versus losses. So if we're looking at group A, how many opportunities are there for them to win? And we have one, two opportunities. So we're going to put two first, and then we're going to have our colon. And how many opportunities are there for them to lose? One, two, three, four. Two to four, and then if we reduce it down, we're just going to divide each side by two to get that down. So for A, for group A, their odds are one to two. Now, if we look at group B, what are the odds that they'll win? So we put the first number is how many wins. How many opportunities to win are there? One, two, three, four. So I'm just going to put that here. Four. And then we do our colon. How many opportunities is there for them to lose? We've got two opportunities that they will lose. So that's four to two. And I'm going to reduce it down to two or divide both sides by two. Just to reduce our fraction. Alright. My marker's running out. But the odds of them winning are 2 to 1. And so if your first number is bigger, that means you've got better odds. And so group B overall has better odds to win than group A. So remember when we did, we'll just compare when we did the coin toss our odds were, were even. We had a one-to-one -one odds that we would win. So 
that would be pretty fair. We would consider that fair. And um, these odds are not as good for group A. So one out of every two chances they would win. Or two, two to one for group B. So hope that makes sense. We're talking about, so it's just a different type of way to present the data, to present the information instead of a, a fraction about the probability with the total number of possible outcomes on the bottom. We're just talking about wins versus losses, opportunities to win versus opportunities to lose. So this is, it's okay if your numbers aren't what you think they will be. Just talk about, okay, well, why do you think that was? Um, what could make it different? If we roll the dice more times, will we get different, a different uh, outcome? If we roll the coin more, will we get a different outcome? Um, mine turned out a little differently than I thought it would, but sometimes that's science, and that's it's just an opportunity to ask questions. Um, but no matter what results you get, you can still have a good discussion of um, odds versus probability and this is just the information that you get to present today so the main point is just talking about okay how many opportunities are there to win versus how many opportunities to lose and you know what's more fair is it is it more fair to have the groups unbalanced like that with with the dice roll to have one group with more chances to win than the other um is what's more fair so that's a good discussion for week 23, and I will see you guys soon.